Sniper. Uh, hey guys, this is a tutorial on how to t nightshade your taillights. Um, you're going to start off with a light like this, and we're going to show you all the steps that are necessary to turn it into this. Okay, first, stuff. you're going to need a microfiber towel as such. Very important to have one or two microfiber towels. Second thing you're going to need is VHT Nightshade. You can pick that up from Auto, uh, AutoZone, O'Reilly's, any auto store, really. And uh, you're going to need 1,000 grit sandpaper. You're going to need 1,500. And you're going to need 2,000. 2,000, okay. okay. First thing you're going to do, go get my cleaning. Okay. I'll show you guys what you need to do. You're just going to need... A, a bottle of soap and water. We just cut just a hole. A little bit of Windex and a little bit of hole. And just squirt it. Squirt it out. Okay. That's all you're going to need for the cleaning process besides your microfiber towel. And what you're going to do first is you're going to take your 1,000 grit sandpaper. Well, actually, I'm doing it wrong. Uh, yeah, now I'm doing it right. Okay. 1,000 grit sandpaper. This one's already kind of dirty. You're just going to put a little bit of water on your sandpaper. Okay. And just clean. Okay, and you're going to see milky shit like that coming out. See that, see that's, that's the dirt right there, that white stuff that normally would not come off when you wash, but the sandpaper pulls it out. And you want to make sure you clean it thoroughly through Gross. about four or five, even more than that. On each grit sandpaper. On each grit. Now I've already cleaned this one, so. It, yeah, he just wanted to show you what would happen. You just go from 1,000 grit to 1,500 to 2,000. So you go from getting the bigger stuff out to getting the smaller stuff out. And when you're done, it should have like a little... um, Almost like a film on top of it. Like a, like, it's, it's like a cloudy, foggy-ish look to it. Don't worry about that. It's supposed to look like that. All right, after you're done cleaning... Oh, yeah, and if you have a, um, a reverse light... Make sure uh, you tape over tape it. Tape over it because you don't want to nightshade your reverse lights because that's just stupid. Illegal and stupid. Okay. Just make get, sure you get, get everything get out of your dry. out of your workbench, wherever you're doing it. And uh, I know this is kind of a bad time, but we're doing it in a garage. I mean, if you want to do it out in the open, it'd be better. If you don't, if you don't want your garage to like paint. But right now it's raining like crazy outside, and has been for about okay 24 hours. So you end up. So he's going to show you nice, uh, that nice milky film on top of it. And you're just going to take your nightshade. And when you spray, you want to keep the same distance from the light the whole time, and you want to get nice, even coats. And you want to wait about 10 minutes. At, or least, at least. At least 10. 10 to 15 minutes before putting on different coats. Uh, like I said, just make sure everything's dry. If you see any water anywhere, take it up. And, uh, after, your, after your first coat dries completely, just squirt a little bit more uh, water on it. And just, and just use the 2,000 the grit and clean off the... The little stuff that's on there because there's going to be dust on there. But that's what you're going to end up right before you paint it. Make sure you shake your can up real good and just give it a quick little spray. Make sure everything's working right. And you're just going to start at the front of the back and just come across it like that. So that's the first layer we've added. Now we're going to wait about 15 minutes and we're going to show you guys another layer.